So what Nick is doing is you see that um, he essentially modified a cell phone display with uh, four flashing boxes that represent movements in the right, uh, left, uh, forward, and backward directions. And those, as he looks at those uh, flashing boxes, those represent movement directions. And the brain activity actually changes depending on which flashing box he's looking at because the uh, boxes are flashing at different frequencies. And uh, he's developed the hardware and electronics so that he can take the wireless uh, signals um, that are transmitted uh, from the, the uh, EEG amplifier, so essentially the brain signals, and he's sending them to a computer to be processed and then sent to the wheelchair to control the move, wheelchair movement directions. So this is a device that could potentially be useful for uh, severely disabled individuals. Um, so if they have no muscular control, they essentially uh, are using a visually guided, um, visually guided uh, control of a wheelchair uh, through brain activity. So now what Nick's demonstrating is an alternative way of controlling the wheelchair without needing to sit in it. Um, so he's actually remotely uh, staring at a computer screen and looking at a video feed that's coming from the camera mounted to the wheelchair. And um, this, this type of uh, interface could be useful for a severely disabled individual that's confined to a bed and wants to use something like a telepresence robot to, to navigate around their house. Um, there's also a possibility of using it as a hand-free control for other applications, um, such as uh, uh, maybe disaster uh, uh, recovery or surveillance, for instance. And again, I would like to emphasize that um, Nix innovated uh, the, the whole uh, uh, hardware uh, wireless control scheme, but uh, more importantly, the aspect of the uh, brain-computer compa interface that uh, that minimizes the number of electrodes required and also um, requires no user training. So uh, again, in theory, any user can, can uh, put this cap on their head and immediately achieve uh, reliable control of the uh, wheelchair using the brain signals.